We are going to go outside and look at the backyard, AKA future garden. So the last couple of days, it's been really sunny and like, oh gosh, I look ridiculous. <laughs> Um, it's been really sunny the last two days and actually decently warm. And by warm, I mean like high 30s, low 40s and sunny. So it feels a little bit warmer than that. But today, today it's like, the door's locked. It's like um, 20 degrees and I think the real feels like 11, 11 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very cold out, <laughs> but at least it's still sunny. So I'm gonna take you out here and I'm gonna show you our backyard and then I will kind of walk you through what the plans are for our garden. And a lot of these plans probably aren't going to come to fruition this year just because it's a lot of yard and not a lot of time to get it set up before we need to grow things. So. Um, I have a lot of big ideas and they're gonna probably be more long-term ones, but I'm gonna show you anyway. We're gonna take this pot out that's here um, cause it's like up against the garage and it's not good for water reasons. So we're gonna do some big pots right here and I'm gonna grow nasturtiums. I have like the long trailing nasturtiums to go up and over this. And I also got sweet peas. So I'm hoping that we can grow some of those as well on there. But that's the garden gate. So let's go through it and look at the backyard. Okay, so when you walk back here through the fence, we want to have maybe like a rain barrel right here. Um, and then I'm going to fill all of this in with hopefully beds of stuff. There's some stuff that was here before. Like these guys. These are um, Rose of Sharon, I think. And I want to see what else pops up before I put too much stuff in there. So two of the raised beds right now have are filled completely with garlic, unless the squirrels have eaten it. Um, <laughs> hopefully they haven't. Um, and that third one is completely empty. And then what we're going to do is off of these beds, I'm going to do like in-ground beds off of these. So they're going like towards that tree um, for all of them so that we have a lot more growing space this year and then maybe eventually we can put raised beds down there too. And then if you walk around the back of the garage, we have all of this space back here and we actually have a mulberry tree. One of those is a mulberry, um, and all of this growing space. It does have landscaping plastic and mulch down, which I'm going to remove and actually plant some things there because I it's too good of a garden gardening space on like the south side of the wall to not use it so that's the plan for that I'm not sure where I want to put my raspberries they might go um, back here they'll still get lots of southern sunlight um, but yeah so basically what you'll see is all of these will just have like extensions off of them like coming towards me and we actually have two more raised beds that we're gonna put over there. We're moving the fireplace or the fire pit. Um, we're gonna move it so it's like over here um, so you can actually see it. So extensions off of all these, we'll have two more. Move that guy and that will be somewhere around here. We might like mulch it in. We have a little seat. I need you to like try and picture this. So we're gonna so icy and frozen still and I want to be able to dig into this but it's like a solid rock. Okay so I'm going to snap some pictures of this and just kind of take it and like sketch out for you my ideas for it. Um, it's gonna be a very rough plan because I really <laughs> have no clue and I'm sure once I get into it, it will change, but I wanna share with you like what I'm thinking for it right now because we have big plans for it. All right, I'm also going to do that quickly because my hands are starting to get very numb. It's really cold out here and 
I need to go eat lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna show you one more thing really quick that I almost forgot about. I'm gonna go to the other side of the garage over here. And sorry if you can hear the wind, but over here on the other side of the garage, we have like where we've been dumping our compost right now. And I would like to actually make this like a little compost bin area over here. So, and then you'll be able to walk around. Hopefully we'll get some good mulberries off of that this year. And I don't know what I'm gonna put here. It's Southern, um, I might put the berry bushes in here. We kind of want to take this little tree out. I don't know what kind it is. I scanned it and I don't remember right now, but I feel like this would be such a cool space and it's already kind of set up. So I might have to try and plan that in. Maybe I'll plant some squash there. Speaking of squash, we have this fence over here. And I think that all along that we're gonna, I have tires that I've been using the last year and I think I have six and I'm gonna use those for probably melons, pumpkins, and squash, like vining plants like that so that they're not taking over the, the raised beds. Okay, let's go inside. It's really cold. Hello. Say hello. I love you. Hey, do you want some lunch? Are you ready for some lunch? Mama's hands are freezing. Do you want snackies? Do you want some snackies? Let's go get some snackies. Take this coat off and go get myself some snackies. So, I snapped some pictures out there. And once we're done eating lunch and doing work for the day, we are going to sketch out the garden plan for you. So I'll probably like narrate it while I'm doing it. I'm gonna sketch it on Procreate, I think. First, I'm gonna add in the house that's existing in the garage and then the patio area. Then I'm going to add in the existing raised beds as well as the additional other two, their extensions and a bed along the back of the house. Next, we want to color in the existing large trees. We'd also really like to do a couple cattle panel trellises. And we're going to extend those beds a little bit further because why not? And then also add in another in-ground one. Then let's add in a couple horizontal trellises for our tomatoes and peppers along the south side of those arch trellises. Then we can fill in our little trees, our mulberry and the other couple. We can add in our little fire pit and seating area. And lastly, we'll add in our little tire planters. Now let's take a look at this from a different perspective. I am sitting here editing this video right now and I realized I forgot to close out the video the other day when I was filming so I just wanted to say thank you for watching I really appreciate it I can't wait to show you guys as the backyard and garden changes over the next several months and everything grows and just seeing how beautiful it is I hope to be doing like weekly garden tours and harvesting things with you and just walking you through everything that we're doing we appreciate you watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and then also comment down below and tell me your biggest garden dreams for this year and your biggest garden dreams over like all time biggest garden dreams because it's always good to dream and it's always great to share that with others so that they can get inspiration and that's what I'm hoping to do here with you guys is just give you a bunch of inspiration for your own gardens. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Cheers!